Alright, okay, welcome back to Voss Voss Games. I am your host, Voss. Alright, a brand new game. Alone in the dark. Now, I seen things about this game. I saw the gameplay a little bit, and I think this will be very, 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 very fun. And um, you know, I want to play a horror game and stuff. Um, I ain't gonna lie, I'm sitting in the dark right now, so I'm a little scared. Don't know how this game is going to play, but I did see some gameplay. But anyway, guys, I hope your day is going pretty good. Please like and subscribe to the channel. That will really help me out a lot. Please comment down below. Let me know what other games I should play. Also, follow me on my other platform from TikTok, Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Rumble. You name it. All right, let's get started. But before that, I got to see the audio. Let me turn this down. Just a, There we go. It's, just, it's blasting in my freaking ear, y'all. I'm not gonna hold you. Oh yeah, I turned on the music a little bit, and then the controls. I'm gonna see how it is, and then I'll change the sensitivity and stuff because sometimes I'll be way too sensitive. But let's start. Standard. Uh, we could do modern or old school. Wait, let me see. Extra help provide to make the experience smoother and easier, including hints and helpful. Or for those who want to figure out everything for themselves, no extra system to guide the care. Dang, that is hard. Ain't no medium. Okay, this one is including hints and make it easier. Hmm. I mean, this is the first time me playing. You know what? Let's go old school. I, I'll probably figure it out myself. Just imagine he ran that thing. <laughs> I'll get over. Cause if that was me, I would have been like, oh, mm -mm. <laughs> well, <laughs> alone in the dark. Now I heard good things about this game, so hopefully it's cool. What's wrong with him? He's possessed. As in the devil? Something like that. He says a dark man is following him, watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis, figuring he might stumble upon some cure. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to get him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Here we are. My uncle's not well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. 
What exactly are we gonna do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. Oh, choose a character? Oh, for real, we're going with the homie right here. But he looks like that dude from Stranger Things. And then what's her? Yeah, we're going to go with uh, the homie right here. He got a gun. abandoned it can't be there has to be someone around wait here I'll go around back you dumb as hell going by yourself I've been like no both of us going matter of fact I won't even be there all right, so chapter one. So I think I'm going to break this into uh, chapters and stuff. All right, so uh, the camera. I always have to check, like, how the, you know, the camera and everything is. It's a little uh, sensitive. So I'm going to turn down the, this, just a little bit, just so I can see how it is and stuff. Okay, a little bit better. I can work with this. I just don't like it when it be so like sensitive and stuff. What, what are we doing? How you run? Oh, okay, okay. Now what do we got here? Now for me, I think I can figure everything out. Ooh, clue, first like I think I can figure every ooh, uh key. Okay. I guess that's the wait, hold up. Okay. So this is the run. Yeah, I like to look around, so... Oh, okay, so that's how you do your weapon. This kind of remind me of uh, Song of Horror, that game I played. Never finished it, but I think I will someday go back to that game and play and stuff. Can you walk this way? Oh, you could. But I, I do like to uh, look around and stuff. One thing I need to do for show is uh, make sure... Let me slow down a little bit. It talk the flashlight when I have to. Who? Once somebody said, "Oh yeah, I'm possessed." I said a cat, but wait, what the heck? Oh, okay, okay, we good. Let me talk to Flash like no. I saw something right there, but I guess it disappeared. Oh, it's a statue. Oh, it's somebody else. Alright, hold up. Let me uh I'm feeling the camera a little bit. Let me see about this put on five. See how the sensitivity is. All right, nah, I'm going to put on six. It's a little bit. I think six is the best one. It's my sweet and butter. I got to just get uh get used to it and stuff. Yeah. If I put on seven, it's going to be way too sensitive and stuff. And uh, I don't want that crap. Okay, I think. Oh, okay. What's in here? I'm not getting in there. Ah, you got to be kidding me. That's why I always look around and stuff. Okay. I'm all, I'm, let me see. What's the other buttons? Oh, okay. So that's like point of view. That's the shoot. Uh, what the heck? That dodge? Oh, that's to get low. Oh, snap. Okay. See, this is good that I'm learning everything sooner or later. You know what I'm saying? All right. Let me see what's up with this. Oh. <laughs> Already with the bull crap. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Oh, godly. So I think we could actually. No? Okay. 
I'm looking around and stuff. Who in the world will come here? <laughs> uh uh. Okay, the stairs is closed. What is this? Oh, so it's bullets and stuff. Okay, okay. So we could get bullets from other chests and stuff. Good to know, homie. Good to know. I don't know if we... Oh, I see. I see that right down there. Let me just look around real quick. You feel me? What's this? Is that... Is that... Maybe that's, uh... Hmm. Huh. Let me look around. Anything here? Scared as a mother. All right. All right. Let me see something real quick. Back outside, where the sun is shining. Let me see if I can get in here real quick. Nah, I'm not getting in there. Oh, that doesn't work. Okay, so we do need like a pick or something. I don't see it. So. Oh, whoa! whoa. What the heck is this? Hmm. Oh, you can't grab it, huh? You need something, huh? That's funny as heck. Dang, I, don't, I wonder how, how you even... Yeah, how you even pick this up? And you can get in that. Okay, well... Hey. Certain things you can't get. Alright, let's do it. Stop being scared. Let's see. So find the front door and let Emily inside. Ooh. I would tell Emily that uh I can't do crap. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. So that's first aid, okay. Game's kind of smooth and stuff. It's got to get used to the camera angle. Hello? Anybody in here? Okay, you got rats and crap. <laughs> I ain't feeling that. Oh, thank you for the extra bullets. See, I tell you, I like to look around. Another clue. The family Bible. Every day, your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone, and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust-covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth, or if you had turned your back against us. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I am going down a path that you find disagreeable with help from Batiste and Charlotte I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo I have long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult but it's been of good use to me it seems all harmless in my book I say some words dreamt up by the Creoles and I carry around a small pocket of Grigri nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible of course but the French quarter priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around. That the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our Heavenly Father. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve... The world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of a thousand young. Sacred sand, one dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. Devil shoe strings, a quarter. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madame. 
What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? Ah, you must have misheard me, madame. I said no such thing. Please. I know I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. Mm. Do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madame. Now please, leave my store. A goat without horns. Alright, well, that was some extra stuff. Okay, I think that's everything. I looked around. Alright, let's do our thing. Okay, I guess we'll look around and stuff. What's up in here? Oh, more health? What was that? More bullets. Oof, the game's getting us some bullets. Does remind me of uh, Silent Horror just a little bit. But I think this is an older game and stuff. I think that's pretty much everything that's in here, right? But which way are we supposed to go? the heck is this all right thanks for the health we got a lot of health what is this what poison oh okay <laughs> what was that it said long as you find throughout the game company said and now oh so it's like knowledge or something. Yeah, I don't even want to go out that door. I want to go out that window. I mean, this is the first part of the game. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, let's close that up because that don't look great. EG. It's like two ways to go. Oh, that crap is open? Ugh. <laughs> Let's see, what is this way? Oh, okay. Let's see what the heck is this? Hmm? There's like multiple ways to go. I wish somebody would come after me. Oh. Please okay. do not touch the boiler. It is working after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. Oh, aren't they? I thought it was like more dialogue and stuff. But that doesn't work. Okay. I guess we need to go look around on Saw Mystery. Oh, this is a dead end. What the heck? Anything up in here? Nope. Okay. This goes upstairs. Okay, before I do that. What the hell's through here? I feel like there's like multiple ways you could go and stuff. We got way so much bullets and stuff. It's crazy. No. I don't want to jinx myself. A ticket? What's this one? Oh, okay, okay. So this is like for the largest stuff. I mean, I am looking around at everything. Need a key. Okay. So that means we gotta go upstairs. That's our best chance. Now, I'm not gonna walk around like... Every horror game I play, I think the last horror game I played was Alan Wake. And I was like walking super slow. <laughs> Back upstairs. What? What is that? 
Is that like a... How are you take a photo? The old plantation building was ready to fall, but kept alive by some starry-eyed carpetbagger called Dr. Gray. Seeing how the staff couldn't even be bothered with answering the door, Detective Comby figured they would just head inside and grab Jeremy. He just needed to open the front door for Emily first, so she could talk to her uncle. True, he got, he got a phone. Wait, do, do you, I, I don't know. Are you supposed to take a photo and stuff? All right, door number one. Ooh, it's locked. Okay. Alright, door number two. Nothing. They would stop. Oh, golly. If rats running around, man, it's time to dip, bruh. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Hmm. There's a clue right there. Oh, we just unlocked the map. See, this does remind me of Song of Horror. Okay. I know. Oh, and we got the key? Nice. Oh, wow. We need another key. They're giving us a lot of health. What is this? Sunday, June 22nd. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rot permeating the house. She's showing us, he said. Like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. Okay. Interesting. All right, so we need a couple of keys. Oh, so we can hold the map and stuff. Yeah, we're about to head to a couple of places anyway. Let me see door, the library. Oh, nope. Doesn't work. Does work? Yep. And then we go upstairs a little bit more. Oh, what the heck? That's another freaking room. Hold on. Let me uh get around here. What the heck is this? It's wedge shot. Oh. Wait, wait, hold up. It's wedged shut. Okay. That's why I'm looking around, bro. Hmm. Looks important. Oh, entry. We need another key, I guess. I'm just uh looking around so I could take all this in and stuff. Alright, here we go. Oh, we was just here also. I lead the birds. You, you just want to scare me with birds and stuff. What the heck? It's like a new house. The bear gonna come alive. Guess let's check this one first. I need the key. I need a key for that one. I'll find it eventually. I don't think it's gonna come alive. Hopefully not. Okay, we check this one first. I broken glass on the floor. Newspaper. The Great Depression. President Hoover raises tariffs on over twenty thousand imported goods in an act to protect American labor. Following the collapse of the Wall Street stock market on October twenty-four last year, American industry has suffered greatly. Thousands of companies have gone bankrupt and left a large part of the American workforce unemployed. In an attempt to turn the tide, the Smoot-Hawley Tariff Act has been signed by President Herbert Hoover. 
By regulating commerce with foreign countries, the government hopes to encourage the industries of the United States to compete with cheap foreign imports. Okay, I'm going to stop because I'm not going to read this entire thing and stuff. So pause if you have to. Otherwise, the video is going to be dumbass long. Got a clue, huh? Let's try. That's funny as heck. Alright, let's see what's this one. Dude, there's so many freaking doors. That's crazy. Ain't nobody here. Let me see. Oh, you need a door. You need another key. I don't know why. We need a key. Keys, keys, keys. I'm gonna get it eventually. What the hell? Oh. Thanks. What are you doing? Who are you? Whoa, pardon me. Excuse me. My name is Edward Carnby, private investigator. I hope you don't mind we let ourselves inside. I do mind. This is private property. You can't just barge in here. I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. It's urgent, and no one was answering the door. We can't hear you knocking anymore. None of us can. Who is your uncle, darling? Jeremy. Am I right? She has that Hartwood gloom, doesn't she? That's right. I'm Emily Hartwood. I just came to make sure my uncle is all right. Well, he is unavailable right now. You will have to come back another day. Unavailable? How? Is he sleeping? We can wait. He's lost. Don't I know you from somewhere? Who's your man again, Miss Hartwood? My name's Edward Carnby, private investigator. Splendid. Enough, all of you. Get back to your rooms. McCarthy, keep your eyes on the child. And you two, please leave immediately. Look, we're not here to cause any trouble. Just let us see the old man, satisfy the curiosity of my client here, and we'll be off. Jeremy has gone missing. There's no need to worry, but it might be some time before he turns up. The whole staff is looking for him. What? He ran off? I don't have time for any of this. Please, come back tomorrow. All right, in that case, we'll just wait in his room. You don't mind, do you? It's upstairs, right? Wait, you can't. Don't worry, we'll be discreet. In the corridor, it's the first door on your left. I'll tell Dr. Gray you're here. Excellent, thank you, madam. Let's look around, see if we can dig up any clues. All right, I got you. Oh, let me see something. Jeremy had gone missing. <laughs> the housekeeper said the staff at Dossetto was looking for him, and that Detective Conby and Emily should come back tomorrow. Hoping to wrap up this case before leaving, Conby hustled his way inside Jeremy's room, leaving the housekeeper flustered and running for Dr. Gray, the chief of Decetto. Having bought some time, this was the perfect opportunity to look for clues regarding Jeremy's disappearance. Okay. Nikki. It's locked? Oh, we're missing a piece. Man, there's so much crap. <laughs> Let's see. Anything important I should look out for? Did he keep a diary? Not that I know of, but it wouldn't surprise me. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room. Counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tide. 
Oh yeah, that's long, bro. Hey, pause it if you have to read it, bro. Can't play this. They they, they talk so slow. Cheap play. Oh, that's for the music box. I don't think I could leave yet. Hey, you know anything about this? Looks like some sort of talisman. No, I don't. Oh, help me out here, will you? I would kill the guy, throw some of this stuff out. I'd be crazy too if I had this much junk lying around. save this one. All right, come on. I want to go see Dr. Gray. Let's go. Yeah, I'm coming. Miss Hartwood. Emily? Detective Conde couldn't believe his eyes. The French Quarter seen before him was dark and sinister. The only sign of life he could see from Jeremy's balcony was the light coming from a lone corner store. That's crazy. It's like we went to like a different dimension or something. Like, you know, Alan Wake 2 <laughs> or the Alan Wake series. It's blocked off. It's like we're in a hotel now or something. This gotta be like Louisiana or something. Oh my Jesus. Oh, we got some more bullets. <laughs> hey, what the heck? Oh, oh, oh God, Lee. Oh god, we came out of nowhere. Where's the other one at? There was like two of them. Dude, that scared the mess out of me. Where the other one went? I'll look around, see if there's any more. Where are we supposed to go? <laughs> we'll look this way. Guess you can't go that way. I can't go that way. Okay, I thought so. You get, you don't have to. Dude, what the heck? I will run, but I'm scared. <laughs> 
Not like we can't go anywhere. What's going on? I don't know, man. We went to a different dimension and stuff. I'm not sprinting, bro. Okay, so which? Guess we'll just look around then. Oh. There we go. So you only can hold a certain amount. She could collect as many bullets as possible, though. Yeah, I don't think we could go that way either. I know I could sprint, but sometimes... Yeah, you can't go that way either. I don't know if you could go in here. Yep. Oh, no. I'll look around. If I die, I die. I could start over. But it looks like we could go in this bar. So let's uh do this then. Oh. Oh, what the heck? Your store? There are no owners here. We both strangers in Jeremy's store. Jeremy did this. How? The pack with the dog, man. Jeremy warned us, but we didn't think much of it. I'm Detective Edward Carnby. I was hired by Jeremy's niece to find him. Oh, yeah? How much you paying you? $150. <laughs> She's sure getting her money's worth tonight. You would thank him, man, compare. No, uh, not if I can help it. You know, I think Jeremy's hiding in a way we can't find him. He has this juju necklace that guides him. The talisman? That's right. It's some magic charm he got from Miss Jackson down the street. The voodoo priestess? You know surprising things, compare. Yeah, the mama lower. Here, take the key. I locked the gate to save her place from all the ghouls and goblins getting inside. Maybe if you go there, you can find some clues to show you the way. Thanks. I'll have a look. But you don't want to come with us? That'd be great. Oh, okay. We got that. What is this? Oh, okay. Okay. More of the... I wish you could come with us, man. That would be nice. Wait, there's 40s? Wait a minute. Oh, okay, okay. We're on the fourth one. And go ahead, play. Detective Conby hesitated to buy into the stranger's explanation, but it was all he had. Baptiste, this mountain of a man, seemed to suggest that this other world they had been pulled into was built from Jeremy's scattered memories. It sounded crazy to him, but Conby couldn't exactly deny the situation he found himself in. Baptiste believed Jeremy was able to move freely between worlds using a talisman he got from Miss Jackson, a voodoo witch doctor that made a good living from alleviating the rich from their ailments and their money. In hope to find Jeremy, or way back to DeSetto, Conby set out to investigate Miss Jackson's place. Yeah, this is great. Nothing in there. I don't know why he didn't want to come with us. <laughs> he disappeared now. Only disappeared now. Oh, there he is. You want to come along? Nah, I'm going to stay here for a while. Wow. Dang. <laughs> I would have been like, we need to stick together, foe. Okay, we can't go out there either. Okay. The good thing we came in here first. As long as they don't walk up behind me, I think we're good. If they walk up behind me, I'm going to be pissed. Oh, my Jesus. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that is. Y'all see it? I'll see it. Yeah, let me uh, go this way real quick. I just want to check. Is this? What is this? A pipe? Okay. You can use a pipe? Oh, oh, oh. Wait, wait, wait. How are you using? 
Oh, leash. So you gotta hold it for tap it and then hold it. Oh, Jesus. Man, that scared the mess out of me. So you can use a pipe. It pause. I think you can alert them with that. All right. Sneak on enemies. Items can be thrown. What item? Gee, gee. I don't know what items could be thrown. Oh, wait, wait. Hold up. What is it? Where? 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 Oh. Oh, what the freak? I did not know that. Oh, okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to use the item. I ain't doing that. I didn't know there was items that could be thrown, so. I wonder if you could. I'm just gonna go in. Golly. Oh, golly. Come on, come on. Oh, what the? What? Okay, this is interesting. I didn't even know that. Oh, so you gotta hold it. Man. Read the directions. When <laughs> Read the direction, boss. You could throw in those stuff. Okay, that's good to know. Now I'm almost out of bullets. I think you gotta go this way. Alright, alright, a little bit. I think that's a dead end. Thank you for the bullets. Oh, that's a bell. I'm not using that. Okay. You. Wait. How you? Wait, how you switch back to the... How you switch back to the... The, the thing? I don't know how it's... Okay, here we go. I guess that's how you switch back. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. I don't know where they at. Oh God, they come after me. Oh, there they are. I see one. It's way up there. Oh. Yeah, that's nastier than the mother. Oh my Jesus! Oh! Oh! God. Oh, golly! Oof! Golly! Oh! Oh man! Okay. Uh, man, I didn't know how this was gonna go. Dude broke the gate. Oh my, what? Oh, here we go. Is. I got 14 bullets left. They take a lot of bullets for some reason. <laughs> Gosh, wait. Oh! 
I can't see. Oh my god, I'm wasting these bullets like crazy. Where are you? How you dodge them? You really can't dodge them. Yeah, thank you for that. Dang it. You really can't dodge these guys. Let me see. I'm going to throw this. But you can't hold on for, it for that long. wonder if you could throw this. Let me, I'm going to hold this real quick. Oh, my toss. Wait, how you? Okay. Well, I guess gotta let it go. Wait. There we go. Alright. I recognize this place. It's Miss Jackson's seance parlor. Let's see if she's got any information on Jeremy's talisman. You wanna close the door? Alright. It's the talisman. Like the one in the painting. A clue. Is the time then to get back to the Diaz? Alright, let me look around real quick. I think oh. it's meant for the talisman. Nope, go back. I don't I don't want to do it yet. I do want to look around and stuff. He recognized this place. It was Miss Jackson's seance room. The last time he was here, he had been trying to figure out the significance of wasps' nests and horse hair wrapped up in red silk. An image of a dead woman stabbed with hat pins flashed inside his mind. Conby shuddered. This was no time to dwell on the past. He needed to find out about the talisman and get back to Desetto. Okay, let me look around. See anything up top? Let's see, this door is open too? No. Just this door over here. Alright. Oh, they don't got no key. Damn it, dude. What, what, what is the key? <laughs> Alright, I guess we just need to get back. That's it. It's, uh, there's no freaking key. Not really. Alright, let's do our thing. I think it needs numbers, like coordinates. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. Jeremy notes, let's see. Trying to see which one's his notes. Here we go. No, that's somebody else's diary. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Okay, I think this is it right here. If I can get a closer view, I think it says five, three. I think that's it right there. Let me see. Look at the number. Oh, wait, wait. Hold up. You can switch this. Hmm. Okay, hold on. I think, uh right here I just gotta this the dark man let me see real quick all right so a5 and three okay so think eight five and three so why keep switching okay well okay eight five and three let me look let me look one more time i think i i think i'm about to get this So we gotta put it on the three. It's supposed to be on three. 
So right here, I believe. That's probably not right. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Damn it, dude. I, I'm trying to get this. I think being attacked so many times and stuff. Let me see. Okay. Okay. So three is supposed to be a little bit right here, I be I believe. Um and then five wait, nope. Let me switch to this. How did the how did it switch? But okay, and then there we go. Where's five at? Five is right here, right? And then and then it's supposed to be on eight, right? And then let me let me see something. Let me. I think it's supposed to be like, wait. No. It's supposed to be eight. Eight. I think five. And then. Three. But this guy goes somewhere. Maybe like this. Wait, nope. There we go. Oh, maybe three. Oh, there we go. I got it. It's showing something place where is that huh oh oh it's gonna mess on me there we go detective i was wondering when you were going to show up mrs thompson told me you were here i understand you are working for jeremy hartwood's niece uh yeah, I guess so. I mean, you're not wrong. We came here for her uncle. I just didn't expect... I didn't expect this. You are Dr. Gray, right? That's right. You don't happen to have some identification, Detective. I'm not keen on having strangers prying into my business. Oh, Detective Edward Carnby, Decatur Street, New Orleans. Enjoying the view carré, detective? Those old French quarters, the voodoo people, the gangsters. I'm sure you live an exciting life. Well, that's not quite like the stories, Doc. Just trying to make a living. Aren't we all making a living? Well, welcome to Dossetto, detective. I hope your time here will be useful. Now, what can I do for you? Why don't you tell me where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? <laughs> Why wouldn't that make for a short visit? I wish I could tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know. A drink, detective? Anything brandy. Oh, you do belong in the French quarters, detective. Armagnac or cognac? You know, just give me the cheap stuff. I'm not much of a connoisseur. Having low standards is not a virtue, detective. Let me see if I can broaden your perspective. What can you tell me about Jeremy? I wouldn't want to go into details about his condition. Doctor-patient confidentiality. I'm sure you understand. Sure. But he is crazy. And he's gone missing. Why? Here. Try this. 
Oh, it's good. Got a bite. <laughs> it's called a sidecar. The trick is not to be afraid of the toughness of the lemon. Then, for goodness sake, don't overdo the triple sec. Okay, what can you tell me about Jeremy? Ah, oh, well, let me think. He is an anxious man, constantly worried about events not presenting themselves according to his model of predestination. He complains about things not being carried out in the right order and that some things simply shouldn't be. Is any of this helpful to you? Uh, not really. Uh, I was hoping for some direction where to look next. I'm sorry. I have nothing for you then. You should talk to my orderlies. They have been looking for him for a while now. I'm sure they would appreciate your help. Yeah, I ran into Batiste earlier. Come to think of it, he... He might have given me a lead. Oh, excellent. So your investigation is already underway. I'm gonna go. But I'm sure we'll meet again. Looking forward to it. Safe returns. Chapter two. Detective Carnby, how did you... Where did you go? I was just talking to Dr. Gray. You disappeared. No, it's not what you think. Have you... Have you found anything strange going on here? Yes. Everyone is being incredibly evasive and I can't figure out why. No, I mean something you can't explain. Paranormal, even. Detective, I really need you to get yourself together. I can't do this alone. Forget it. I'll figure it out. Do you want to come see Dr. Gray? No. I want to, I want to try something else. With his talisman, I think I can follow Jeremy to the place he mentioned in the book. What was the name? Do you remember something Spanish? T Tarawea. Yeah, that's where I need to go. Detective, are you gonna be all right? Yeah, of course. Go talk to Dr. Gray, we'll rendezvous later. All right, Lily. Detective Combi was grateful to be back at Deceto. He was eager to test his hypothesis. After having suffered through that sinister world, dressed as the French Quarter, Jeremy's writing could be read much more literally. What if Jeremy used his talisman to actually visit those places he mentioned in the book? Conby felt certain that this was the answer. He wouldn't find Jeremy hiding inside Dorsetto. He would be in one of those other worlds. And to follow in his steps, Conby would have to investigate the old clock and the boiler and find out what part they played. All right, that's good to know. Yeah, let me see. Completed. Okay, so there is a couple stuff that is not completed. And then the bolt bolt tight block door. <laughs> okay. The talisman brought me back from the French Quarter in the blink of an eye. If Jeremy can travel so easily, then he could be hiding anywhere, even Tarawea. If he can do it, so can I. I just need to figure out how the talisman works. Oh, you guys should open this. So this is to that food quarter and stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna what the heck? Okay, we cool. Oh, so there's only oh wait, hold up. I'm guessing there's only what five chapters or something? We got we got a couple of stuff done. Oh wait, wait. So this unlocked the shotgun cabinet. Oh, Okay, well, I'm going to explore everything I can and stuff. It is like a mix from song horror mixed with 
a lot of stuff <laughs> but anyway guys i'm gonna end the video right here so guys i want to thank you guys for watching like and subscribe to the channel comment down below let me know what other games i should play also follow me on my other platform from tiktok twitch it's come twitter facebook rumble you name it till next time i'm out to be good to you